So now I'm gonna try it again to see if I am, if I finally have all the people we need. Well done. Now we have a chance. All right, militia. Ready your weapons and move out. It's time we stand our ground. Yay, fighting! Well, we seem to be a very disorganized task force. They're just standing there in the weeds. Well, and they seem to be a little more organized than us. Fight! All fun and games. Yay! These guys are weaklings. Habit power! Oh, thanks for showing up there, friendo. Where's everybody else going? That was getting a little confusing. Yay, die! I love how everybody stopped. It's like, I'm gonna stab and wait. Prepare for battle. Yay, I'm prepared! No, no. Pathfinding problem. Don't just stand there. Let's go! That guy is like three times my size, like two or three times. I'm not sure if we're winning or not. I don't think we're winning. There we go. We finally got rid of one of them. We lost a fair amount of the city, I think. More of More of them regroup. Cyric's blood, they're entering the Starling House. But if we don't hold the next wave off, the whole village could be overrun. Let's go. If we hurry, we can stop them before they find the children. I'll see what I can find in the Starling's house. We could use your sword, but I understand. You keep my brother and sister from harm, and you can have anything you want. If you were a chick, that'd be a much more enticing offer there, um, annoying guy. Oh, I'm glad those weren't the kids. Hello. Bevel, Spaz, thank the gods you're here. Mother, what happened? We are. Where are those dwarves that came in? When I heard the fight and I tucked the children away and came to see what the matter, suddenly these creatures burst into the house. Isn't it weird that they got wolves? Oh, she, her voice is too much like mine. The children, where are they? That sounds so wrong. I have to give her a gruffer voice. I told the children to lock themselves inside the house. Mommy likes a drink. But now those creatures are here between them and us. Fortunately, those beasts woke up the hounds, too, and the hounds tore the throats out of two of them before they barricaded themselves inside the living room. Those poor kids are going to be incredibly scarred when they grow up. They'll be like, their kids will be like, Mommy, I want candy. They'll be like, when I was a kid, I saw dwarves' throats ripped out by wolves. Wolf hounds. I haven't heard anything from inside, and there's a large group of them. Please help. That door doesn't lock, Spaz, and it looks like the hounds are willing to help us to take care of our guests. If we open the door, those dogs would tear into them. Alright, we'll take the help. You're right, Nash, your mutton shop, lock. Come on, boys, follow us. We've got some hunting to do. Alright. Ugh. dun 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 Fight the dwarves! I don't know why they put these support beams in the game that get in the way of the camera. It's like, yeah, look, I can check out the support beam. I'd much rather would see that than what I'm fighting. The 
Sneaky guy. Well, you got your ass handed to you by a, ho a little halfling hobbit dude. Is there things we can steal from your house, dude? Sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you, doggy. Kids. Yay, Smash! We heard them screaming for mercy as they died! Is there any blood we can see? Wow. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go. We're sorry. We'll stay here and be quiet. We promise. Say, my loser friends, his little brother and sister, or whatever, are more manly than um. He is. I think that's everything, dude. Let me use my healy dealio on myself a second. Healy dealio. Oops, don't shut the door. Is that all we had to do? Talk to the mama again? Thank the gods you and Bevel arrived in time. <laughs> My voice keeps changing. Uh, was that it? I think it might have been. Oh, wait, there's another door I almost missed. No? Well, there's some stuff we can steal. What a wuss, he's letting me rob from his family house. You guys don't need that stuff. All for spares. Let's see, let's find that stupid wheat field. Wheat field! Oh yay, we can kill some more dwarves. The battle is on! Oh, what way to defend me, friend Bevel. You just ran off without me. You suck. It's alright, I got hobbit action. Want some hobbit action? Ladies like the hobbit action. They're like, I want it small and hairy. <laughs> Who doesn't want it small and hairy? Well, at least we're getting lots of fight, man. Murder a blade lean, whatever the heck that is. Oh, I'm gonna stab it in the back. Boom! I murdered you from behind, foo! Like a hero. Thank the gods that's over. We would not have held them much longer. Oh, that don't look good. I call Baldy McBalderson. Oh, it's my foster father. The one I have issues with. Dagon. Much blood has been lost tonight. Let us make the enemy pay in kind. Yay, more fighting! Wait, why did you guys all lead me to these four, three dwarves? <laughs> Thanks a lot, assholes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not enough that, um... Is there anybody else in the village that could, like, possibly do anything? There you go, thank you. Let's see how many we can steal from death's clutches. He says something about let's gather the dead and wounded, but I hit the button too fast. Thank the gods we were able to hold them at the farm. How many did we lose? I love not Ian, seeing who's talking. Vera, Pearson. What were those things, anyhow? Never seen anything quite like them. They're called bladelings. Their kind is rarely seen in our realm. They dwell in a place beyond. Well then, what in the nine hells are they doing here? Lathander doesn't illuminate all mysteries for me. We must rely on our own wit and resources. One of those dwarves mentioned they were searching for something. Does anybody know what it was? Boy, come over here. I'm a man, Dad. Don't be an asshole. I'll kick your ass. I see you're unharmed. Many have not been so fortunate, and others have seen their final night. I understand you lost a friend of yours in the attack. A tragedy. 
She was a promising young mage, or so I've been told. <laughs> I'm gonna be so teen angst. She was a good friend, you wouldn't understand! I understand perfectly, but I also understand what can and cannot be changed. Do not burden your resolve by dwelling on loss. Direct your thoughts to the present. I do not have much time to talk. There are many who are wounded. Now, there is something you must do tonight. Those bladelings were here to find something, and I fear I know what. We barely trade words and now you decide to fill me in! Oh, I hate you! Tonight is not a night of words, but of action. There is an item, a silver shard. Long ago, I concealed it in the old stones outside of town. I fear it may have drawn these creatures down upon us. Whoa, thanks for killing everyone, Dad. You're the one that hit it, why don't you just go get it? There are too many wounded to care for. More than Brother Marin can handle on his own. I cannot go. So you must travel there in my place. There is no choice in this matter. Uh, Where did the shard come from? I need some exposition and backstory. It is from the time when your mother died. Those were dark times for the village. We can speak more of the shard after you've returned. For now, all that matters is its retrieval. Is the shard connected with my mother? You never talk about her! There is no time for that now. Your mother is dead. Wow. Let her spirit rest. Wow, that was cold. Your mom's dead. Get over it, kid. All right. I'm ready to go. Tell me what I need the to do. The stones outside of town are older and deeper than you may think. In the farthest chamber of these ruins, look for a strong box. Inside is the shard. Can you give me anything for the journey? If you must. You can go to my room and open my chest. There are things inside that may prove useful. There remains only one thing. You should not go alone. Bevel, I need you to accompany my oh, son Greg, to the ruins. Whiny with this me. is an important task. But Georg says the ruins have been overrun ben, by lizardling tribes. And that is why you must go. Together, two can succeed where one might fail. The cries of the wounded cannot be ignored any longer. Find the shard. Find it and bring it here. Find the tired. I'm on top of it. Oh, I found the tired. It's you, no Dad. No offense, Mint, but your father makes the hairs on my neck stand up. Still, if we're going to do this, we should make some haste. It sounds urgent. I'm ready. Let's go. This path that runs along the river is our best route into the swamp. I hope these ruins aren't too hard to find. We could be out there all night. Well, I guess that's the next trip. Er, step as we're headed north into the swamp to find some stupid shard. It's been an age since I've come this far into the swamp. There are some twists and turns before we get to the ruins. There's probably more than lizard Whoa, wings ahead. Whoa, that looks so, naughty. Uh, lead on, I guess. <laughs> it's been a lonely time in the woods, <laughs> in the swamp. What happens in the swamp stays in the swamp. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that's the end of this episode. Like, I didn't need to see some of that. Thanks for watching, y'all.